2,500 ahead now. I just lost 50 points. <laughs> Stupid game, dude. I hate that game, bro. I'm done. Mobile games are quite hard, and the more hard it gets, the more angrier you can get while playing it. If you want to get better at the game, it is important that you keep calm and stay focused. However, it's not as easy as it sounds. Let's get to the basics. Here are 5 tips to not get angry in mobile games. The first step is to keep a calm surrounding. Before you dive into any game, you need to know that you are in a safe surrounding. It isn't easy to get a headshot with a sniper rifle when someone is outside your house banging thalis. Until you can make sure that you won't be troubled by anything outside the game for the next 20 minutes or so, make sure that you don't enter the game. Friends, there's no point in having half your concentration on everything outside and half inside the game. Give your 100% because that's the only way you can improve your game and get that chicken dinner or that booyah or victory. The second thing is to make sure you understand your role properly. Many times, some healers don't understand what they're supposed to do in the game. They might pick a wrong fight or go into the open to heal. Understanding how limited your role is, is actually incredibly helpful. That way, you can narrow down your focus into one particular mindset which gives you the highest reward. After all, it's of no use if you're an assaulter and you stay hidden all the time, because that's just a waste of your potential. And if your assaulter is always in the open, that's not understanding when to stop and take proper responsibility. If you keep breaking these rules, you'll always end up angry. A fish can't fly and a bird can't swim. Well, sometimes, but you get my point. Sometimes, we end up making mistakes. They happen, they're a part of the game, they're natural. But if you just keep on remembering how you forgot to glue all that one time, you will not be able to focus on your next move. And if you stay stuck constantly, you'll almost certainly end up living in regret, which isn't a nice place to live. Almost always, forgiving yourself and focusing on the next strategy is what wins the game. There are very few people who play the perfect game. The trick is in remembering that they also, on their way to fame, made the same mistakes you did, but quickly learn to move on and focus on what's next. The fourth step is valuing learning over winning. Like the last point, it is incredibly important to remember that mistakes help you understand yourself. Absolutely no one can always play the perfect game all the time. But what you can do now is focus on learning yourself through your mistakes so that you can get better at the game. If you stick to getting angry about every mistake you made which led you to lose, you'll almost never succeed in improving. Letting go is one part and going back to them to understand what went wrong is another. And after that, it is your humbleness and ability to learn that will make you the next superstar. Keep that in mind. Finally, all of this can get very exhausting. If you aren't ready for the next game but you queue nevertheless, there's a good chance that you won't be able to focus. And the moment you can't focus, you are ready to make mistakes. And once you make mistakes, your exhausted mind will constantly blame your teammates or you. Remember folks, take breaks. Your mind needs food and water and air to live. You can't burn your fuel forever to stay in the game. If you still want to, you'll end up creating more space for you to get angry. So yeah, take breaks folks. That's all from our side today, folks. If you like mobile esports content, be sure to like and follow us. We post mobile esports content daily. We're gonna go AFK now, and we'll see you all tomorrow.